Reported Israeli strike overnight killed 15 people at a Syrian base near Damascus. Eight of those deaths, more than half, are Iranian-financed Shiite militia members, according to a monitor. Here's new video of that deadly attack just into the eye, 24 Newsroom. State media says that the country's air defense systems intercepted two Israeli missiles, but several others penetrated their targets. The target reportedly a depot of Iranian missiles. Israel, as usual, not confirming or denying an attack, but the attack came right after. Israel identified, quote, abnormal movements of Iranian fighters in Syria. And the IDF this morning announcing that the Golan Heights is no longer under direct threat, despite those irregular movements of Iranian fighters over the border. The IDF says residents can now return to their daily routines. School is in session. Last night, Israel's commanders of the IDF asked authorities in the north to open community bomb shelters. And even some IDF reservists and specialized units were called up. Our correspondent, Pierre Kloschendler, reports now from the Golan Heights. Normalcy is a relative state of affairs after last night. Schools have opened as usual, but reservists have been called up from the Home Front Command from the intelligence and air defenses of the state of Israel. And yet also shelters, public shelters have been opened, a first in seven years of war in Syria. And these shelters, although they remain unoccupied, people are fearing that what may come next will change their daily life because they understand the pressure around this, them, the confluence of two issues which seems to gather around them in great pressure. First, the issue of the Iranian deal, and second, the Iranian military presence in Syria, which Israel won't tolerate whatever price they may have to pay. Back in the studio now, again, really tense situation in the north. From an IDF perspective, do they believe perhaps that war is inevitable? Conflict with Iran and Syria is inevitable, perhaps better now than later? I wouldn't say that they believe war is inevitable, even the to the contrary. Uh, war is not necessarily the most realistic scenario. What the, a lot of people in the security establishment think is realistic is that indeed Iran will seek a way and will maybe find a way eventually to respond against these various uh, reported Israeli strikes. Uh, the thought, uh, the consensus, let's say, is that uh, Iran is looking for some sort of formula that will be low signature, low profile, if you want to call it that way, something that will not necessarily trigger an overall conflict. So what does that mean? A cyber attack, bringing down Israel's communications network when when uh, somewhere outside of Israel altogether? Outside of Israel is perhaps the kind of formula that could work in terms of maybe not uh, triggering a massive response by Israel immediately, something that would not necessarily uh, uh, trigger a full-on full, full -on conflict. In terms of cyber, I'm, I'm sure they would love to strike at Israel and its cyber infrastructure if they could. Perhaps they have their own capabilities, but uh, I'm not sure that's necessarily the most realistic path.